All right, guys. This problem is now from, they call it now flip it physics. So we're gonna be doing, it's the ceiling fan. So really quick, we have five rods and there's a disc in here. Okay, and um, there's, there's a thing, a string hanging out, going out of here. So this is the center of the, of the motion and it's rotating like this way. So um, the first question is asking, what is the moment of inertia? of each rod above the axis of rotation. Okay, so it's really easy. All right, so you're just gonna need to find the inertia for the rod and uh, it's at the end of the rod. So you just need to memorize these stuff. Um, so the thing is that it's half one third ML squared. Okay, that's for the rod. And uh, my thing was third 1.4.74 squared. Okay. And then second question was it they asking for the inertia for the disc about the axis of rotation. So it's also memorization. So we get this one's half m r squared. Okay. And then so mine is half m r squared, which is half 2.624. Okay. Squared. My numbers worth for this. 0.255 my number for this was 0.0748 cool what is the moment of inertia of the whole ceiling fan so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna we have five rods and all of them has it's at the end of the rod not in the middle because the middle has a different moment of inertia than at the end of the rod so we just gonna multiply it by five. The first answer we're gonna multiply it by five. So we're gonna multiply one three ml squared. This is times five. Because we have five rods again. And then we're gonna add to it this one, which is half m i squared. So the answer from number one times five plus the answer from number two, and then that's where you get the total inertia. So for me, it was 1.352, okay? It's kilograms per meter square. So number four, when the fan is turned on, it takes 3.5 and a total of 17 revolutions to accelerate up to full speed. What is the magnitude of the angle acceleration? Um, we're gonna use the, what do you call them? Um, the equation, the motion equation, the motion equation, you know, it's the same thing for the, uh, when it's rotation or it's a linear, it has the same, but different variables. So what we're going to do is, uh, the angle or velocity final, the we final is equal to, uh, initial plus two angle or acceleration times delta theta okay and this is squared so we don't have the final squared and the initial is start from zero we're assuming start from zero so it's equal to zero plus two the angular acceleration that we're trying to find and then the revolutions so this is in radian and they gave us 17 revolution okay and each revolution is um, 2 pi, it's like full, full rotation, so it's 2 pi. So what, what are we going to substitute them? And assuming it's up from theta equals 0 to, so it's 17 times 2 pi. This is the total of revolution. 17 revolutions equal to 17 times 2, 2 pi, not theta, 2 pi. That's in radian, chain from revolution to radian. So this one is... 17.2 pi okay so now we have two variables we need another um, equation
equation to help us find it. So we're going to use, we're going to use the final angular, final velocity equal initial plus angular acceleration times the time. Okay, so final equal, this is zero plus angular acceleration, we don't have it. And they gave us the time, the time in my question was 3.5. Okay, so now we have two unknown and two equation. We can solve it really easy, right? So um, you just substitute this guy into here. And then you squared it and then you're going to get the angular acceleration. So let me just do it really quick. Put this guy in here. So it's squared 3.5 squared. Let me keep the variables. So this is time. So angular acceleration to squared equal we're doing this guy for 2 pi. And then let's keep it as now let's just put it 17, 2 pi. Okay, so now cancel one of these. So we only have theta, oh not theta, angular acceleration equal 2, 17, 2 pi divided by t squared. Did I miss anything? Okay. So then we get the angular acceleration, okay? And for me it was, angular acceleration it was 17.43 radian per second square. Okay, and then you go to number five, you, they're asking for the, what is the final angular velocity? Then what you're gonna do is, uh, you're just gonna substitute your answer from here into, to either this or this one, this one is easier. Okay, so final will be equal to, which is the answer 17.43 times the time, which is 3.5 for me. And then you get W final, which is 61.03, 60.03. We'll just give it 60, 61. Sorry guys, the uh, my phone stopped recording for some reason. Anyway, um, the snow is in the back too. <laughs> okay, just bear with me. Um, we're at number, we finished number five, now we're going to number six. So what is the final rotational energy? So number six is asking for energy, so kinetic energy, they're asking for final, so we're going to use this equation, half I when we get final squared. So this final, you're gonna get it from this guy in here. Cool? It's number seven, is saying, now the fan turned to a lower setting where the ends with half of its rotational energy before, as before. This time it takes slow to this new speed. This is also 3.5 seconds. What is the final angular speed for this fan? So. At, they said that it has half of the kinetic energy that it had before and uh, it took it 3.5 seconds to go to that um, speed. So what we're going to do, we're going to take half of the um, kinetic energy that we get in here. So um, we're asking about, yeah, so Ke divided by half, which is from this one here, equal half. I omega omega final two squared. Okay, so now this is gonna be um, the initial omega for the second question that we have, this one, and then this one's gonna be the final. Okay, it just switched now, and uh, so after you take half of it, you're gonna do um, take the square root of this. Okay, so e divided by two times two, so we can take these out, and then divide it by i, and then take the square root of that for w final two. Okay, so we're gonna get that, and then they're asking what's the magnitude of the angular acceleration while the fan slows down, fan slows down. So here we got, we got w final equal w initial um, equal plus 
A T. So the angle acceleration A T. And then so the final in this case is this guy, the one you're gonna get in here. The the initial is the first one from number five. Okay. And then the angle acceleration is the one you're trying to find, and the T is 3.5, whatever they gave you in the question. Cool. Alright, so I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.